citing Osage and some officials with knowledge of the damage. The Post reported that smugglers have been using reciprocating saws to cut through the steel and concrete portions of the wall, creating openings wide enough for people and drugs to be smuggled through. The agents told the Post the saws can cut through the bollards in a matter of minutes. Engineers told the newspaper that because of the height of the bollards, which are between 18 to 30 feet tall, it's easier to push the steel out of the way to pass through the other side. CNN has reached out to us Customs and Border Protection. A spokesman for the agency declined to comment to the post. When a breach is detected, a welding crew is sent to fix the opening, the newspaper reported. Smugglers also attempt to hide a breach in the barrier, by returning the cut in the bollard to its original position or using a putty that looks like the hole has been fixed, so that they can keep using that opening, according to the post. But agents told the newspaper that despite fixing and welding the damaged bollards, smugglers still return to the same spot because the metal and the concrete at the bollards' cores have already been weakened. The post reported that some of the damage has occurred in parts where electronic sensors that detect sawing vibrations have not yet been installed. Smugglers also deploy makeshift ladders to climb up and over the barriers in the San Diego area, and then use hooks to hang rope ladders on the other side, according to the Post. A senior administration official told the Post that the number of breaches amount to a few instances, but that the new fencing had significantly increased security and deterrence along the San Diego and El Centro sections of the border. Trump's signature campaign promise was building the wall on the US Mexico and having Mexico pay for it. So far, us taxpayers have been footing the bill for efforts to build new physical barriers at the southern border.